you know, no bake is my favorite. Graham cracker crust, we're gonna add about a third cup of caramel. Can you see that? Yeah. And we're actually just going to pour it whoop, all over, pretty much until it is covered. Then I kind of just spread it around a little bit. Guys, that's gonna be amazing. Ooh, I'm excited. Next, I'm gonna take a half cup of pecans. Now it says chopped. These are still some bigger chunks because I like it that way on my turtle pie. So you're just gonna spread these into your caramel or caramel or whatever you wanna call it. Don't judge me, just know that's what it is. It still tastes the same. Next, we're gonna add two packages of vanilla pudding mix. So these are 3.4 ounces, so you're gonna add two of these. So it'll be just over like 6.8 ounces. Then you're gonna add one cup of milk to the pudding. Then just go ahead, mix this all together. It's gonna be thick, that's how we want it. Then you're just gonna add one cup of pumpkin puree, and we're just gonna mix this all together. Okay, this is pretty mixed. Now we're just gonna add about one teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of nutmeg. We're just gonna add some flavor to this. Mix it all together. Then you're just gonna slowly put this on. Now the caramel is really loose and soft, so you kinda wanna do it in chunks so it will be easier to spread. All right, then we're gonna put about a cup and a half or so <laughs> of Cool Whip on or whipped cream, whatever you like. I love Cool Whip. That's my favorite thing. You're just gonna gently spread this all over the top. All right, so then we're just gonna put this little lid on, then we're gonna refrigerate it for two hours. We want everything to just combine together. All right, let's cut into this. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh, that thing is thick. Oh, can you see that? That looks so good. So now we're just gonna add a little more pecans on top. If you like those, no pressure. If you don't, you don't have to add the little extras. And then I like to add just a little bit more caramel. The next recipe is our three ingredient pumpkin cookies. This is my go-to after school snack for my kids. First, we're gonna add about 15 ounces, so about a half a can of this big one, this is 30 ounces, of pumpkin puree. Not pumpkin by mix, pumpkin puree. Then you're gonna add one package of spice cake mix. Ooh, probably should have gotten a bigger bowl. That's okay. We're gonna see if I can do this without spilling everywhere. And then just a cup of chocolate chips. I like to use milk chocolate chips, but you can use whatever kind you like. And I am eyeballing, so probably doing more than a cup, because really, you could always have more chocolate chips. Cookies is to use a cookie scoop. It makes your life so much easier. But if you don't have one, that's okay. You can just scoop it with a spoon. Here, I'll show you. Scoop it with a spoon and then just kind of put on a blob, just like that. It will work either way, but I love the cookie scoop because I don't have to touch anything. It's super easy. So usually if I'm giving the cookies away, my secret is I'll put a few chocolate chips just on top to make it look, you know, like there's tons in there and it just makes them look better. We're gonna bake these at 350 degrees. So I'm making my pumpkin pie filling and I've got a large glass bowl and the first ingredient is one 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin puree. The next ingredient is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm adding one fourth cup of light brown sugar, two large eggs, as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now for the spices, I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Then I'm just gonna mix this together until everything is well combined and the filling is smooth. Now that our filling is done, we can pour it into our pie crust. I'm just using a nine inch store-bought pie crust, but if you have a homemade pie crust that you love, it would work great for this recipe. And then I just put the pie on a large baking sheet to be burned. And so I put this on in the beginning to kind of cover it so it cooks a little slower than the rest of the pie. And then I'll take it off towards the end so the crust gets nice and golden. But you could put it on halfway through if you feel like your crust is too dark. Then you put it in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then reduce the oven temperature to 350 and bake for 35 to 40 more minutes until it's done. Serve. So first you're gonna crack your eggs and put four of them into a bowl. Then add one and two thirds cup of sugar. Next you're going to add one cup of vegetable oil. Then a smaller can of pumpkin. So this comes in two sizes, the big can, the smaller can. You're gonna add the smaller can, which is about 15 ounces. 
and just put that all in with the rest of it. Then mix it really well. So then you're gonna add your two cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. Now these are your ing dry ingredients. You can sift them all together, but I just throw them in. And then just one teaspoon of baking soda. Then I have my cinnamon, so it's two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and then just one teaspoon of salt. You don't have to use the whole teaspoon. I did about half a teaspoon. Then mix it really well. Then I have a nine by 13 pan that I'm gonna spray with cooking spray, and then just dump your batter into the pan. Then spread it around so it's pretty even, and then you're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Once you're all done baking it, you're gonna take the other end of a wooden spoon or a fork and poke holes in it. I like the bigger holes because then when I drizzle my caramel on top, it seeps into this cake a little bit better. Then spread the caramel around the best you can, getting it into the little holes. Now let's make the frosting. So I have a container of Cool Whip and I use the whole entire container. Next, I use cream cheese. I use not the fat-free kind because it mixes a little bit better. Then just add two cups of powdered sugar and mix it with your beaters. Mix it for about two minutes till it's nice and smooth. Then you're just going to put it on top. You wanna to make sure that your cake is pretty much cooled when you do this or else it will melt down into the holes with the caramel. And then just spread it around the best that you can. Then I like to put crushed pecans on top along with a little caramel drizzle as you're serving each individual piece. Let's get started. The first ingredient you'll need is a spice cake mix. To that, you'll add one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree and then stir it until it's pretty much smooth. Refrigerate this mixture for about 30 minutes until it sets up a little bit and it's easier to roll. From there, spray a mini muffin tin with cooking spray or olive oil and then take about a one inch ball and roll it in melted butter until your muffin tin is totally full. Bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. They should easily pop out of the muffin tin with a fork or a spoon. Then we like to top them with powdered sugar.